Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Luke DeDuke and why don't you have a 3D printer in 2023 yet? If you do, awesome. Please share with me in the comments the cool things that you like to 3D print or make your own video and tag me in it. But I want to convince the ones that don't have a 3D printer yet to go out and buy one. I'm going to show you all of the 3D prints that I have in my garage, and then we're going to go into the house, starting from the mudroom, and do a tour all the way back to the bedroom of all of the cool things that I have 3D printed. Now, I 3D print everything, pretty much from this fin holder for a model rocket, so you can clearly glue these fins on. Very practical application. Two simple toys for my kids that I have 3D printed. This, this actually goes up and down and the wheels spin. Show you everything that I've got to convince you to go out and buy a 3D printer because they are the coolest thing to have around your house. So all of the items that you'll see, I'll have a link in the description for where you can download this. Again, some may be free, some you may have to pay for. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy and I hope it convinces you to go out and buy a 3D printer. The first is this adapter that goes on your RC transmitter. So you can hit the throttle and steer at the same time. Pretty cool. I use this when I go out to the track and I record so I can hold the camera in one hand and steer and hit the throttle with the other. Here's a white one. These I purchased from an online YouTuber. All right, next, I'll do that last. Next is a tip up. So here's a nice fishing tip up. And someone accidentally ran this one over with a foe with it. <laughs> so I just, quickly designed like a, a U-bracket that fit right around the two pieces and then hot glued and bolted it together. And it, uh, I do have to fix it. Some of the glue is coming off, but it's been like three years, so easy peasy. So the last thing here I want to show you are bass fishing trophies that I designed in 3D print. So this is basically an extrusion of a picture that they gave me during one of the fishing tournaments and what i do is i basically extrude it out at different extrusion levels 3d print it this year i took the lithophane idea and i took the image and i 3d printed it so you can insert it and then up here in the light you can see the image that i used so this year this is what they're going to get So something I like to do every fall. Up here, there's a 3D printed little turtle that I had, uh, I printed for my dad. He ended up painting it. This right here is a bookshelf. These are all binders of my RC car manuals. Uh, I've been organizing, so uh, <clears throat> these will hold up the magazines or the binders once I get those organized. Over here, this black container, I'll bring it over here to the bench. You see there's numbers. <clears throat> this I got online from another YouTuber because he, he did like the top 20 cool 3D prints. But basically this will measure the different bolts that you use in metric. We'll measure this actual diameter and the length right here. So I keep this here when I need to use it. This is pegboard and there's tons of cool things you can 3D print for pegboard. But I 3D printed some blue clips that are holding up all the tires and stuff, um, the pinions. Up here, little purple containers, the whole little things I haven't really figured out what I want to put in there, but I 3D printed a bunch of them. Why not, right? Okay, a couple other things on the shelf here. 3D printed uh, plow for my RC car for one of my monster trucks. We use this, actually, I think I used this uh, in a uh, little robotic competition with my students in Mech 128 last fall. 
Up here is all my fishing rods and all of these orange and black are rod holders. So I 3D printed them, mounted them up there. That's one end. Here's a couple more that are gray. And then I have the other ends hooked up there. Over here, I just did this last spring. All of these are my transmitters for my RC cars. So I have 3D printed holders to hold all the transmitters. Different colors, different sizes. And I just started 3D printing. I think it took about a month or more to just keep printing. Some of my gutters, holders, are 3D printed. I designed them, 3D printed them. So some are, are shaped like that, while others go over here. See that one's a little thicker? That was like version two, but look, they do snap, but I can just unscrew it and pop a new one in. See, I have them all the way down here. Cause why not? <laughs> oh yeah, this is right. Uh, I'll have to 3D print this again, but I 3D printed this cover right here, that's kind of smashed. But it would go from this square stock to the pipe. I mean, you could buy them, but if you have a 3D printer, might as well design it. I still have one over here too. This one's, that one, I think it must have hit with a snowblower. See, this one's black. Okay, let's walk right into the mudroom. You'll see up here, we got uh, two AA battery holders that I've 3D printed. These two I usually bring outside in the summertime, but the wintertime I bring them right here. And then as we go over here across, we got more AA battery holders right here, and then we got a AAA battery holder. And then over here, we got uh, Live, Love, Laugh, decorative, for the wall and then under here you'll see some shelf brackets that I've 3d printed to hold up the shelf so here's the mudroom now let's head into the kitchen let's go around the house see what I got for 3d prints so uh, here is Drawer organizers, so a white one, a red one, and another red one over here. All right. Also have one in this drawer. I just printed these to start organizing. So we got these two sizes here. This one, we got the chalk holder, an eraser holder. This again is just downloaded, printed. Up here, we got these cool looking wall decorative aspects. Um, R2-D2 isn't uh, printed, but uh, you know, he's one of my favorite Star Wars characters. And we got uh, Grogu, and then we got the Mandalorian printed. And then over here we have picture frames. Pretty cool. Different colors printed. And we got this cool little light. I think it's called a lithophane. Um, so a little present for my mother-in-law. Over here, by the uh, door, we got these 3D printed curtain holders. So I got one here and one over here. Pretty cool. All right, over here we have uh, basically some Nintendo Switch holders. And then here we have a phone holder. This is pretty cool. This one goes in here. All right, so another awesome part of having a 3D printer is you can make 3D prints of RC crawler equipment. So here is, uh, we do a lot of like 124 scale crawling in the house in the winter. So I 3D printed this little bridge it, these files that you'll see here, I actually purchased the STL file for. 
I think I paid less than two dollars but there's a whole slew of things you can 3d print so this is actually like four pieces these two come apart from these little ramp here's another little cool little ramp over here is a teeter-totter it's a little short on my end so I'm gonna I think uh, print in hot glue longer and then here's another little ramp Now, you've seen a lot of the stuff in the other rooms. We remodeled this room and painted it last year. And I'm just finally being able to put stuff back up. So let me show you some cool things. So here is the uh, Mandalorian Nerf gun. But I wanted to mount it on the wall, so I 3D printed these black holders. So one here, one here. And then these Nerf are mounted, 3D printed with this Nerf holder. It actually comes out. And I hot glued it right to it. But I had them. Again, found these online. I didn't design those. Then over here is the retro cabinet. This one I'll have a video on for full details. But it's packed full of retro gaming. And I have 3D printed holders. So here holds the gun, a little uh, hook, eye hook, holds the controllers. Let me turn on the light here so you can see. See, controllers over here, turn the light on. I've got these little lights that turn on. 3D printed controller holders, GameCube holders, WaveBird holders, and pretty much as you can see, game holders, more Game Boy, control, game Boy holder, controller holders. I'll go in more detail in the next video that I have in a few months. All right, come over here to my bench. So over here on my bench, and this is where I do all my video editing. I like to have stuff to kind of play with while I'm editing. <laughs> this I designed, this is a three tier Amiibo holder. Over here, I got from um, Thingiverse to hold just a couple of Amiibos. Over here is a date calendar, 3D printed. Pretty rad. Then up here, you got some more Amiibo holders for the wall. I, this was white, I painted it, 3D printed to hold like, it's like a Mario thing. Here is basically Samus's ship. This is 3D printed. This again I got from the amazing community. This one took over two days to print and it had a lot of uh, support in the bottom so I had to be very careful. I love that. I just got to paint that. And then this over here actually holds like baseball cards or whatever Pokemon cards that you want and just to put packs in. I thought that was kind of cool. Over here these uh, Pokemon display things I designed and actually uh, with an alumni, Jared, helped me finalize those. And uh, my new printer was able to print, if you notice, the white and the black, two layers. And then we just painted that red. So different, different shapes, different iterations. I'm not sure which one I like the best. Up here, uh, the Star Wars figurines are not 3D printed, but these are. Again, got from Thingiverse to hold. It looks like it's coming right out of the wall. I love it. Over here are the Amiibo stands, or Amiibo holders. And uh, to help support online, you can get these little uh, brackets. This one's Batman. I got Batman up here, same up here. And then above it is like a little uh, octopus arm. Now over here, by my bedside, I 3D printed a remote holder and just put some command strips down here. So I could put all my remotes in there. Now another thing that I have in the bedroom and actually all the bedroom closets are these adapters to make it look better than the actual cut end of the piece of wood. So I 3D printed these, I designed these. 
that you can just pop on and slide right over. And it makes it look so much better in the closets. All right, so here are some pictures of some 3D printed items that I have either outside stored that I couldn't physically get to, or they're items that I have 3D printed for someone else that they're currently using. So first up are 3D printed funnels. And I have two or three of these. I have one for my deep frying oil, I have one for using actually regular oil. Very handy to have in different sizes. Next up is paint stirrers hooked to your drill. I have two or three of these. I use these quite often in the summer when we paint. Highly recommend 3D printing one of these first. Next, if you look at the back of the boat, the red covers, those are cleat covers. I 3D printed those because I've broken a couple poles on my buddy's boat when your pole gets underneath the cleat and you try to lift it up and it just snaps in half. So I said, I'm 3D printing you some cleat covers. Sorry, next up is a 3D printed hummingbird fish finder mount. I 3D printed this for my dad because we have a couple boats. The one, the original mount, we have permanently mounted on the big boat. And then I 3D printed this one so it goes on the small boat. So, and I 3D printed this so it goes on the small boat so we can pop off the fish finder and just move it back and forth. Next up, we have some 3D printed CO2 cartridge dragsters that I've had students design and we tested them during a summer camp. And I'm also working with a student now to work on another video where we look at the different aerodynamics and we're gonna calculate theoretically and experimentally what, sh what shape, what best shape you should use when you're designing these. Next up, water rocket nose cones or even fins, I've done those before. During a summer camp, I 3D printed a bunch of these. We did different shapes and we launched them to see what the effect on shape does to the altitude. Next up are knife sheaths. I'm having an alumni student design these for me. My dad actually makes homemade knives and uh, I figured, well, might as well 3D print those. So these are actually using TPU type of material which is like a rubbery instead of like the hard plastic. Next up, we have a RC skeleton monster truck shell that uh, I 3D printed. This is actually two pieces, red and pink. One during COVID, one summer, we did a summer camp and students, all the students that participated got a monster truck. And a couple of them had 3D printers and one of them found the file to print this shell. So it was pretty cool. So he sent it to me and I 3D printed it. Next up, this is a 3D printed RC car. And I have a couple students, actually one student really taking charge in this. And I have a couple others that are taking parts that we 3D printed and is gonna build one. But he has built the first model here and then he's also working on the next model. These are already designed. We just have to 3D print them, get the electronics, and put them, put them together. So next up is an RC snowmobile. So this is the same alumni student that's making the knife sheaths. He is working on 3D printing these and assembling it and getting it working. And he's gonna make me one too. Next up, again, same alumni student. I've been working with him quite often. This is a like light that you can make a lithophane for and mount on the wall so you can turn it on and off at nighttime. So right now we're in the initial design phases. 
but uh, in the next couple months we'll have these fully designed and ready to. Lastly, I have a student doing a, a directed study on how to make fish poles. And I said, well, instead of buying the parts at the end of the fishing pole, let's 3D print our own designs. So you can see here, there's a fish at the end, or there's a bass picture. We can do different colors. We're gonna do different outside um, designs. Mine's gonna, mine's gonna say Dr. Luke the Duke. It's either gonna be extruded or engraved in. So these are, again, work in progress. Hopefully in the next couple months we'll have these. All right, hello again, and here is the conclusion of the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the 3D prints from my garage to outside and throughout my house. And I really hope it has convinced you to go out and buy a 3D printer. So I will have links to all of the 3D prints that were shown in the video. I will also provide a link to my favorite printer, the Ender 3, where you can buy it, and any associated links to get you started. And I will eventually be making a quick tutorial video, if you do buy an Ender 3, how to get started on your first 3D print. So look for that. All right, best wishes and take care. Bye now.